Number 10. Moira Murray The case of Moira Murray is nothing short of tragic. She was only 21 years old after she mysteriously vanished off the face of the earth. It happened in 2004 in New Hampshire. On the evening of February 9th, Moira crashed her car while driving along a country road. The last person to see her alive was a school bus driver who stopped and offered Moira a hand. Instead, Moira waved him off and said she'd be okay by herself. She was calling AAA, but being the kindly man that the bus driver was, he phoned the police anyway. He knew there was no cell service and that Moira was probably worried because she was alone. By the time the police arrived at the scene, Moira was gone. Her car was locked and turned around to face the opposite direction of where it had originally stopped. There was no trace of her or of anybody else. Over 17 years later and not a single clue has come to light regarding Moira's case. Nobody knows if somebody snatched Moira off the side of the road, if the bus driver himself kidnapped Moira, or if she simply wandered off through the snow or was eaten by a bear. According to the New Hampshire Attorney General's office, the case is still an open investigation and they are still urging anyone with any information to come forward and contact the New Hampshire State Police. Some still hold out hope that Moira will return one day. Others are sure she's gone, buried, or otherwise lost to the world. Number 9. The Sleepy Sickness There was once a sleeping sickness epidemic that transformed its victims into human statues, completely speechless and unable to move. To this day, scientists can't understand or explain what caused the mysterious sickness. It all began after World War I. The sleeping disease, also known as lethargic encephalitis, affected millions of people all over the world. There are various estimates, but it's agreed that roughly one million of those inflicted with the sickness died, and others spent the remaining years of their life stuck in a living coma. Believe what you will, but this is one of the biggest medical mysteries in history, and almost nobody even knows it happened. The illness spread across the world at roughly the same time that the Spanish flu was busy killing over 50 million people. This could be why the sleeping sickness went so unreported back in its day. After all, until the coronavirus pandemic, almost nobody even talked about the Spanish flu recently. The sleeping sickness began in 1915, with the first patients being soldiers displaying lethargy and extreme confusion in Paris. People of all ages were affected. The initial symptoms were similar to the flu, and by the time the encephalitis had seized hold of their minds, it was too late. The brains of the infected became so inflamed that they were turned into brainless zombies. The lucky ones were those who died. And to this day, scientists can't figure out what caused the sleeping sickness or how it was transmitted from person to person. Number 8. Walter Collins It was March 10th, 1928, when Walter Collins disappeared from his neighborhood in Los Angeles. He was only 9 years old at the time. The local police searched for Walter for 5 months even investigating a nearby lake where some eyewitnesses claimed to have seen the boy. They came up with nothing. Then, in August, Walter walked into a police station in Illinois, stated who he was, and was quickly brought back to Los Angeles. Here's where the mystery really begins. Christine Collins knew immediately that the boy was not her son. Being the 1920s, the captain of the LAPD simply told Christian Collins that the boy was of course her son, and that he only looked different because he had matured a bit. As a mother who was being told this boy was her son, Christine was obviously being hysterical. The LAPD captain, one J.J. Jones, even told Christine to take the boy home and just try him out for a couple of weeks. Imagine hearing that today. Things kept getting crazy. Christine gathered her son's dental records along with groups of her friends who knew the real Walter personally. J.J. Jones wasn't having any of it. Instead of listening to the evidence, he claimed Christine didn't want to take care of her kid and was trying to get rid of him. He even had her committed to the psychiatric ward at the Los Angeles County General Hospital. While Christine was in the hospital, her story turned out to be true. The imposter eventually admitted that his real name was Arthur Hutchins Jr., a boy from Iowa who ran away and tried to take Walter Collins' place because the two looked somewhat similar. Still, it wasn't until 10 days after Arthur's confession that Christine was finally released from the psychiatric ward. She later received $10,800 in court on the account of her being falsely imprisoned and all. To this day, nobody knows what happened to the real Walter Collins. Number 7. Paula Jean Weldon The last words ever spoken by Paula Jean Weldon were, 
I'm gonna hike on the long trail. Paula was 18 years old, just a sophomore at college up in Bennington, Vermont. It was December of 1946, and about 2.45 p.m., she decided to go hiking on the long trail. That was over 60 years ago, and she still hasn't been found. When Paula was last seen, she was wearing nothing but jeans, lightweight sneakers, and a thin red coat. Eyewitnesses remember that she didn't look dressed properly for the cold winter weather. A man named Louis Knapp picked up a young girl hitchhiking along Route 67A who matched the description of Paula. He dropped her off near Long Trail, where she was subsequently witnessed at least 45 minutes later in the area of Brickford Hollow, where residents saw her heading towards the trail. One man even recalled warning Paula that it was dangerous to head up into the mountains dressed in such a way, and at such a late hour. But she went anyway into the dimness of the woods and never was seen again. Nobody knows what happened to Paula. Her body was never found, she was never spotted again, and her unusual behavior on the day of her disappearance has yet to be solved. She clearly knew that going into the mountains not prepared for the cold was a bad idea. What was she thinking? And more importantly, did she make herself disappear on purpose? Number 6. The Bridge of Horror in Scotland, there's a mysterious bridge that has been luring animals to their deaths. According to those who have lost their pets at this very bridge, something simply comes over them when they get too close to it. Hundreds of Scots have claimed that their dogs become possessed by an indescribable energy at the bridge, then try their hardest to throw themselves off the stones, where many of them ended up dead in the valley below. It has been going on since the 1950s, though the bridge itself, called the Overton Bridge, was built at least a century prior. The bridge is located in Dumberton, and depending on who you ask, it's haunted by a malevolent force straight out of the Twilight Zone. Here's where the mystery gets really spooky. The bridge is in a location described by the pagan Celts as Thin Place. A thin place is supposedly where heaven and earth overlap, creating a kind of paranormal zone. This is what the superstitious residents of Dumberton say is responsible for all the doggy deaths. According to the New York Times, anywhere between 50 and 600 dogs have died by flinging themselves off this mysterious bridge, supposedly compelled by an unseen and possibly evil force. Number 5. The Georgia Guidestones It was June of 1979. A man under the false name of R.C. Christian approached the Elberton Granite Finishing Company about building him a monument. He was to remain anonymous throughout the entire process, and so too was the group he represented. He had all kinds of money to fund the project, he was able to complete all the legal contracts seamlessly, and all information about him and how the project was even accepted by local government and put forward was withheld from the public. A year later, the Georgia Guidestones were finished. They were placed in a seemingly obscure part of Georgia with absolutely no significance, erect on a hill for all to see. The stones are engraved with 10 guidelines, rules which seem to have been made up to be implemented after an apocalypse. They are written in English, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, Russian, and others. One of the most bizarre guidelines is that humanity is to remain under 500 million, meaning the total population of humans on Earth should not surpass that number. To this day, nobody knows who built the Georgia Guidestones or what their true purpose is. They could have been constructed by Satanists, those working with the New World Order, or an organization so secretive we don't even know about them yet. Regardless, I kind of want to go see them myself. Don't you? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below, then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more weird videos. Number 4. Kiera Coles The last time Kiera Coles was seen, it was October 2nd, 2018. At the time, she was 3 months pregnant and 26 years old. She was also employed as a United States postal worker. She vanished on the south side of Chicago, her car out front of her apartment with a packed lunch and a cell phone sitting on one of the seats. Nobody had any clue where she went, why she would have left her phone in her car, or who could have possibly taken her in broad daylight in front of her own home. The most tragic part about this case is that police haven't been a very big help. Kira's own mother believes that her boyfriend may have had something to do with it, as Kira had been dating the father of her unborn baby for six years, and after her disappearance, he vanished. Kira's mother suspects he could have something to do with the case, but the police won't make any comments about it. In 2020, the case was considered inactive. But by 2021, NBC Chicago reported the case changed to being an ongoing investigation with foul play suspected. 
Number three, the big gray man. In 1925, hiker, professor, and a member of the Royal Geographical Society gave an account of a mysterious incident that occurred on the summit of Ben Macdui, Scotland, several decades earlier in 1891. He claimed that as he was returning from the summit, he heard something else walking behind him. He never physically saw anyone through the mist, but did say that he would never go back to Ben Macdui ever again. There were other reports of similar things happening in the area around the same time, with hikers claiming that they heard slow footsteps as if being followed. Nobody ever actually saw something until the 1940s. It was during the 40s that hikers began to come forward, saying that they'd witnessed a large figure in the mist with long, dark hair. The creature came to be known as the Big Gray Man. Nobody knows if the Big Gray Man really exists. Nonetheless, dozens of hikers, both locals and internationals, have heard footsteps while climbing Bin Macdui and experienced a sense of being followed, along with a terrible foreboding. But there has never been a plausible explanation put forward, nor has there been any evidence of a creature living on the mountain. To this day, nobody knows why people hear these noises or what it is they truly see out in the fog. Number 2. Maria Elizade Maria Elizade vanished on the day before Thanksgiving in 2015 in Dallas, Texas. It had been a festive time with Maria's mother preparing Thanksgiving dinner for the whole family, but Maria and her sisters began to get bored. They wanted to go outside and play with the neighbors. They left their house at about 7.30 p.m., they were seen playing in the yard at about 9, and when they were called to come back into the house, only two of them returned. Maria vanished from the front yard without a trace. As you can imagine, Maria's mother was panicked. She called for her daughter, she checked with the neighbors, and even managed to get surveillance footage from cameras on the street. But nobody knew where Maria went. Train stations were checked, police were called, an investigation ensued, and not a single lead has come about since. Even six years later, nobody has seen Maria. The girl was only 15 years old. Police were initially wondering if perhaps the child had run away. But if she had, you think she would have at least given her mother a call sometime during the last six years. After all, kids usually only run away for a couple of weeks at a time, maximum. Her sisters never saw anyone suspicious. And to be quite frank, there really is no explanation. One second she was standing in her front yard, and the next, she was a ghost. Number 1. Boston Heist Painting it was March 18, 1990, when 13 works of art valued at around $500 million were stolen from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. It's one of the greatest art thefts in history, and famous because nobody has ever been caught for the crime. In the morning, guards admitted two men pretending to be police officers responding to a 911 call. They were actually thieves who quickly tied up the guards and then looted the museum over the next 60 minutes. They stole paintings, a couple of artifacts, and the Storm on the Sea of Galilee, one of the most famous and valuable Rembrandt paintings ever. Thirteen works of art in all were stolen, and not a single person has been held responsible. So far as the FBI is concerned, the robbery was likely planned by a criminal organization. The only problem is that they don't know which organization was involved. There was no physical evidence, interrogations turned up nothing, undercover informants were given no information, and all sting operations failed. To this day, nobody knows who robbed all these paintings or where the paintings are now. Number 10. Roman Eunuch In an absolutely bizarre discovery out of North Yorkshire in the United Kingdom, Archaeologists dug up the ancient remains of a eunuch who had once been part of the Roman population. The eunuch was discovered bedazzled with jewelry buried in what experts believe is women's clothing, and completely castrated, probably by himself during an excruciating religious ceremony. The dig came about because of a bypass that was being constructed to serve as a link between London and Hadrian's Wall. Archaeologists found elaborate paintings, an ancient Roman motel, and of course, the strange eunuch priest. He was buried with two pebbles stuffed in his mouth, something done by members of the cult of Sibylle. The stones were symbolic, a hope that in death he would have the manhood that he robbed from himself given back. But here's what's so crazy about the discovery. 
His body proved that there were many mystical religions from the Far East active in Roman Britain during the 4th century. This is solidified by other bizarre finds, such as a castration clamp that was recently pulled out of the Thames River. To date, the eunuch priest is the only man who's ever been found wearing such an array of jewelry in Britain. And why he decided to snip himself for his cult is because the devotees to Sibylle wanted to model themselves after the lover of their goddess, Addis, who himself became a eunuch as a self-punishment for having an affair. Number 9. Creepy Bug Fossil The creepiest fossil in the world was just found in Scotland. The fossil is that of a millipede, which, according to the study done by members of the University of Texas, may be the oldest bug in the entire world. The millipede dates back 425 million years, and is older than any other fossil discovered of any other insect, creepy crawly, or arachnid. It's about 75 million years younger than any other millipede found. And while researchers admit there could be older fossils of bugs out there, they have not found them yet. Thanks to this fossil, scientists have concluded that bugs likely evolved much more quickly than previously thought. They now believe that insects went from hanging around lakes and shorelines to occupying forests and creating complex ecosystems of their own in only 40 million years. Researchers say that there was a rapid evolution that began at the water's edge, spread to nearby areas, and soon went worldwide. And it may have started with this tiny, seemingly insignificant, and undoubtedly creepy millipede. The thing is that scientists have found other bug deposits dating just 20 million years after the millipede. But add another 20 million years onto that, and scientists have found evidence of forests ripe with a multitude of bizarre insects and spiders. But what happened between the emergence of the millipede and the establishment of forest ecosystems is still an utter mystery. Number 8. Ancient Chinese Tombs Tombs have been uncovered in ancient China that are beyond creepy. About 500 artifacts have been saved from the ancient tombs, all of which date back about 2,700 years before today. The tombs were found in the Shanxi province, containing many amazing cultural relics built from a variety of materials, such as jade, copper, gold, and bamboo. There were nine tombs discovered, all of which were about medium-sized. Many of the bronze wares that were found, things like pots and bowls, still had legible inscriptions on them in ancient Chinese characters. One of the oddest discoveries came in the form of cat paws. The archaeologists apparently found strange golden ornaments shaped like cat paws, and nobody really knows what they were used for. But who did these creepy tombs belong to? They were created to be the eternal resting place of nobles who lived during what is now known as the Spring and Autumn period of China, between 770 and 476 BCE. However, archaeologists did not divulge whether they had actually discovered any bodies. Right now, it's believed that the tombs were already pillaged by grave robbers by the time archaeologists got there, meaning no bones and no bodies. Number 7. Chan Chan Statues The Chan Chan statues are some of the strangest things ever excavated in Peru. They were found at the largest pre-Columbian site anywhere in the Americas, the Chan Chan Archaeological Site. This place was once the capital of the legendary Chamu Kingdom, which actually came before the powerful Inca Empire. The ancient city, known as Trujillo, thrived as a budding metropolis between the years 900 and 1450 far from the altitude of the Andes Mountains, near the northernmost coast of Peru. But what about these statues? About 20 of them were found by Patricia Barbueno and her team of archaeologists. They were found literally buried in soil at the entrance of one of the largest temple complexes in the ancient city. They were once part of a corridor leading to a ceremonial courtyard. The statues were probably used to mark the tombs of very important people. When someone would walk through the corridor, all these creepy little statues would stare back at them. They were likely many more statues when the city was prosperous over a thousand years ago, but now there are only about 20 left. At its height, the Chan Chan archaeological site probably boasted at least 30,000 inhabitants. The city center is about 2.3 square miles. The suburbs are significantly larger. The first foreign eyes to see the city were back in 1532. 
most of the city was eventually looted. An archaeological dig in the 16th century even found a doorway made of solid silver that would have been worth about $2 million today. Number 6. Shipwreck Artifacts Shipwrecks are mysterious enough without being full of creepy artifacts. But a vessel was recently discovered off the coast of England, and scientists can't quite wrap their heads around a collection of mysterious artifacts. Now, Historic England is using high-resolution X-ray scanners to properly analyze the artifacts and see just what these weird things are. Let's back it up to the actual shipwreck. The vessel is known as the Rus Wujik, and it sank off the coast of Kent way back in 1740. At the time, it was filled with trading goods, such as silver coins and metallic thimbles. But underwater archaeologists also discovered that there may have been some smuggling going on. They found coins that had actually been sewn into people's clothing. The best guess is that some ordinary people working on the ship got a little too handsy with the treasure and stitched the coins into their apparel to keep them hidden. But even though archaeologists have identified coins and other artifacts from the wreckage, there are still some objects that they can't identify without using the most advanced X-ray scanners because the objects have become covered in concretions. Or in other words, they've become covered in hard mineral deposits. So we will still have to wait a while before some of the more obscure treasure is identified. Number 5. Colonial Tavern In North Carolina, archaeologists were examining a colonial tavern from the 18th century. They were shocked to discover that the building had burned down in the 1760s, causing the walls of the structure to collapse. Because of the walls collapsing, the basement of the tavern was sealed like a time capsule. Nobody had entered the space until Dr. Charles Ewan and his team of researchers from East Carolina University stumbled upon it. Beneath the foundations of the Colonial Tavern, the students found evidence that the building had once been used as a brothel. They found smoking pipes, brass taps from wine barrels, and a whole lot of artifacts that had probably belonged to ladies of the evening, such as clothing fasteners and straight pins. They even found an Irish halfpenny dated back to 1766. The consensus had been that the tavern doubled as a brothel, which may have been operating out of the basement. This would explain all the suspicious paraphernalia. If you're wondering how such a discovery can go unmade in the United States until just now, it's because the tavern was only discovered recently thanks to ground-penetrating radar. After the accidental fire burned the tavern-slash-brothel to the ground, it literally got covered up. The scientists had to dig the remains of the building out of the ground, uncovering, like, some kind of ancient Egyptian tomb. Number 4. Neanderthal Bodies Archaeologists recently discovered the very creepy ancient remains of nine Neanderthals near Rome, according to Italy's culture ministry. The oldest of the bodies dates back to between 90,000 and 100,000 years old. The bodies were uncovered inside a prehistoric cave. However, you can hardly call them bodies, they were more like fossilized bones. Scientists found fragments of skull and shattered jaw bones, and they say the remains belong to seven men, one woman, and one child. But here's the creepy part of the discovery. According to Mario Rolfo, a professor of archaeology working closely with the excavations, the Neanderthals had probably not been living in the cave. On the contrary, they had probably been killed by wild hyenas and then dragged back to the cave, which the hyenas actually lived in, before being eaten as dog food. Back when Neanderthals were still pitiful cave people, they had a bit of a harder time defending themselves against prowling animals, and hyenas were especially keen on hunting down ancient humans and eating them. Specifically, they would hunt infants and elderly people, or even those who were sick. Number 3. Spiderweb Masks The traditional masks made from the indigenous people of Malakula are strange, creepy, and very cool. Malakula is the second largest island of Vanuatu, which itself is an island nation deep in the South Pacific Ocean. The island was left pretty much alone for most of the colonial expansion that took place before the 20th century. This allowed the indigenous people here to preserve a lot of their traditions. One of their traditions was making cloth out of spider webs, specifically cloth from the golden silk orb weaver. 
The tribespeople would go to the forest and collect raw webs until they had enough that they could mold them into bizarre masks. These masks would often have scary, almost demonic faces painted on them. They would sometimes be equipped with boar tusks, and sometimes clay was added to make the faces even more frightening. There are not many of these masks left today. Some have been retrieved from the island and brought to various museums around the world. But what's really shocking is that scientists can't quite figure out what the masks were used for. Some experts have called them suffocating hoods. Early visitors to the South Pacific Islands believed that the masks were used to kill widows at the funerals of their husbands. They would put the mask on, which because of the way it was made, would suffocate them. This was probably not the case though, because the Malakulan society is still so isolated, it's not like anybody can just go ask. Scientists believe the masks do serve a ceremonial function, they just don't know what it is. Number 2. Mass Moat Grave In the Netherlands, researchers have unearthed a mass grave of what they believe to be medieval skeletons. It all happened when city workers began to excavate a moat. They found the bodies of men between the ages of 15 and 30, all of whom lived near the end of the Middle Ages. Additionally, rusty nails were collected from around the skeletons, suggesting they had been buried inside of boxes. Unfortunately, scientists don't quite understand what this means. The moat being excavated surrounds the famous Botstein Castle. Nobody had thought it would be riddled with corpses. They first found nine skeletons, but within another few hours had bumped up the total to 20. Archaeologists are now saying there could be even more skeletons all throughout the ancient moat. But here's what makes it a bit creepy. Normally when there are buried bodies, there are grave goods. But in this case, archaeologists haven't found anything of worth. This is pointed to a mass murder. It's quite likely that a large group of people had been killed, stuffed into boxes, and then tossed into the moat to rot. Nobody knows why this happened or who was killed. It's a miracle they even found the bones in the first place. Number 1. Anti-Witchcraft Potion Angeline Tubbs is also known as the Witch of Saratoga. She was born in the year 1761 inside of a small pub called the Star and Garter Inn, located in Northamptonshire. She left England at the age of 15, moved to America, and began to tell fortunes. Legends say she was followed around by cats and was in fact a very real witch. She also apparently lived to be 104 years old. Now, in the house that Angeline Tubbs was born in, the current owner recently discovered a bottle from the 1800s used as an anti-witchcraft potion. The bottle was found while the owner of the building was doing roof repairs. But what's really strange is that the bottle was probably made sometime in the 1830s, long after the alleged witch had already fled to America. What this suggests is that the people living in Angeline's birthplace were still so scared of witches that they created an anti-witchcraft potion to ward off the evil stain of Angeline's birth. The bottle then sat in the chimney for nearly 200 years, providing supposed protection against evil spells. But what was inside the bottle, you ask? It contained fish hooks, glass, human teeth, and a disgusting, unidentified liquid. Which of these creepy discoveries freaked you out the most? Number 10. Surprise Snake Imagine this. You're going fishing, expecting to pull up a massive catch and test yourself against the creatures under the water. But you pull up a big salmon or a cod or something else, and inside the fish mouth, something falls out that could kill you in an instant. That recently happened. One of the weirdest things ever found inside of an animal was, in fact, a snake that was discovered by a fisherman inside of a fish's mouth. Imagine his surprise when he reeled in a cod, pulled the fish into his boat, and then discovered one of the deadliest snakes in the world sitting inside. This horrifying thing happened to Andy Wharton while fishing near Melville Island in the Northern Territory of Australia. Somehow, the fish had managed to eat a spotted black snake, one of the most venomous serpents in the entire country. Lucky for the fishermen, the cod had done a pretty good job of killing the snake already. He was able to pry it out of the fish's mouth without getting bitten because the snake was already dead. It just hadn't made it into the fish's belly just yet. 
The fisherman threw the venomous snake back into the water and kept the fish. Though, to be honest, if that had been me, I probably would have just thrown the whole situation back into the water and called it a day. Number 9. 32 Rubber Ducks A dog in Thailand got a little too hungry when playing with what he thought were his toys. The dog managed to eat not one, not two, but 32 rubber ducks, at which point he needed emergency surgery to get them removed from his belly. What did he think he was doing? Seriously. An emergency veterinarian discovered the 32 toys inside of the American Bulldog after its owner realized that he had raided a box of yellow ducks that she bought the day before to decorate her pool. A huge portion of the ducks were missing and she immediately realized that her dog had gobbled them up. At the veterinarian clinic, x-rays revealed all the little yellow ducks trapped inside of the dog's guts. The dog had vomited up five and a half yellow ducks already, but still needed surgery to remove the remainder. It was having a very tough time, so the surgeons pulled out each yellow duck one by one during a surgery that lasted for about an hour. But the rubber ducks weren't the only things inside the dog's stomach. The veterinarians also pulled out two chunks of rubber balls and a cow skin snack that hadn't been digested. After waking up from the anesthetic, the bulldog was right back to his normal self, and I'm happy to say that he made a full recovery. I hope he learned a valuable lesson about not eating everything he sees, but who am I kidding? He probably went right back to eating plastic. You know what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Number 8. Head in the Shark A group of fishermen in the Philippines caught a massive tiger shark that weighed over 650 pounds or 300 kilograms. It was an exceptional catch, and everyone in the group was very excited. But excitement turned to horror when the fishermen discovered a human head inside of the shark's guts. Not only that, but they also found somebody's leg partially digested inside of the great shark. Being the superstitious lot that they are, the men threw the leg and the head, along with everything except for the shark's fins and jaw, overboard out of fear that human remains and tainted shark meat would bring them bad luck. Of course, this was probably not the right thing to do. The shark was probably responsible for a murder, and the head probably should have been turned over to the authorities. Locals say the shark may have eaten one or two missing passengers from a ferry that had sunk nearby just a few weeks earlier. But now that the head is probably decomposing at the bottom of the ocean somewhere, it's unlikely the identity of the victim will ever be uncovered. What would you do in this situation? I can't blame the fishermen for panicking and throwing the whole thing overboard, to be honest. Number 7. 64 pounds of plastic A sperm whale was found washed up dead on a beach in Spain. This in itself isn't the wildest news ever. After all, whales get beached all the time, especially whales that are already dead and get washed up on the shore. But this whale proved to have something disturbing inside of it. An autopsy revealed that the whale had swallowed roughly 64 pounds or 30 kilograms of plastic before it died. The autopsy was carried out by experts at the El Valle Wildlife Rescue Center. They say that the whale was unable to digest or pass any of the plastic that was in its system. Because of this, the plastic clogged its digestive system. Think about flushing too much toilet paper down the toilet and the paper clogging the pipes. That's basically what happened here. Nothing else could get past the plastic and into the whale's digestive system which caused an infection of the stomach lining that ultimately resulted in the death of the animal. This is obviously tragic, and something that will be happening more and more frequently as more plastics find its way into the water. This whale died of starvation because it had accidentally swallowed so much plastic that its digestive system became clogged like someone's arteries who eats too much McDonald's. Let this be a reminder to all of us not to litter, especially not with plastic. It often makes its way down into the ocean, where it causes animals all types of problems. Number 6. Snake Eggs Villagers in Nigeria recently harvested some very strange and slimy balls that they found inside of a colossal dead snake. You may have seen photos of this snake before. With its belly cut open, the snake looks like it had a thousand kinder surprises in its stomach. But they weren't chocolate treats. Instead, they were slimy eggs which happened to be a rare delicacy in the region. But why did the villagers cut the snake open in the first place? 
The serpent was murdered by locals after they suspected it ate a calf. They thought the snake had ate a baby cow because its stomach was so swollen. But then when they carved the slithering reptile open, they found out it was just pregnant. Not wanting to waste the opportunity, the eggs were harvested and later devoured. Would you eat snake eggs? They kind of gross me out. I'll stick with plain chicken eggs for now. Or have any of you eaten them lately? Are they any good? As for what kind of snake it was, experts say it was probably an African rock python, a breed of snake that can grow to be over 24 feet or 7 meters in length, and then enjoys preying on human animals such as goats and crocodiles. Number 5. Woman's Engagement Ring This story is real, as ridiculous as it sounds, and yes, human beings are animals just like any other animal. And this particular human being did something totally bizarre and hilarious. Jenna Evans dreamed that she was with her fiancé fighting bad guys on a speeding train. During their struggle, Jenna's fiancé told her that she needed to swallow her engagement ring to keep it away from the bad people, so she did as he suggested. But when she woke up from her dream, she realized that she had swallowed her engagement ring in real life. She had slurped the ring right off her finger in her sleep. And when she went to urgent care and told the doctor what happened, they used x-rays to find her engagement ring nestled neatly in her stomach. This is obviously not something that anyone wants to find inside of themselves, and rather than go through all the trouble of having the surgery, the gastroenterologist simply suggested that she go home and allow nature to take its course. They thought she would simply get the ring back in a few days, a little dirtier and a little stinkier. However, neither Jenna nor her fiancé were very keen on what that meant, and so they convinced the doctor to perform an endoscopy. The doc removed the ring, gave it a thorough washing, and everything was back to normal. But the story remains, and it's something I'm sure no one wants to happen to them. Have you ever swallowed something that you had to have surgery to remove? Or know anyone that did? What was it? What happened? Tell me about it in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more incredible videos. Number 4. Mysterious Ant Species A new species of tropical ant was found inside a frog. If that sounds unusual, that's because it is. Discovering a new species is usually quite a process, but according to National Geographic, scientists found the new species of ant inside of a poison frog known as the Little Devil Frog or the Diablito in Ecuador. This frog is bright orange, very poisonous, and it loves eating ants. And because the poison frog hunts bugs in places where scientists don't usually go, scientists have figured out that if they capture wild frogs and check the contents of their stomachs, they can sometimes find treasure. In this case, they got lucky and found an entirely new species. The new species is a mysterious ant that scientists are still trying to analyze. It apparently lives in the rainforest of Ecuador, invisible to all except the voracious poison frog and its long tongue. And if you're curious as to how exactly researchers got the ant out of the frog's stomach, they used a soft tube. The soft tube goes into the frog's mouth, water is gently poured through the tube, and then as water fills the frog's stomach, whatever it ate last flows up and out of its mouth and into a tray. The frog is then safely returned to wherever they took it from. That seems like torture to me, but I suppose for frogs it's okay? Eh. Number 3. Turtles in a Crocodile Three turtles were saved from the belly of a crocodile during a video that was made to show how to hunt and cook crocodiles in the forest. The hunters were filmed tracking down a crocodile, only about 4 or 5 feet or 1.5 meters in length. The catching of the reptile was easy enough. It was when the hunters went to the river to begin clearing the guts out of the ferocious predator that they stumbled upon some innocent bystanders. Upon opening the stomach, a tiny turtle popped its head out as if it had just been taking a nap. The hunters removed the turtle and continued to prepare the crocodile. And much to their surprise, they found two additional turtles. The turtles were completely unscathed. They had probably been swallowed whole by the crocodile and were waiting to be digested. Even though the crocodile ended up becoming food for the evening, the trio of turtles were saved and returned to the river. Lucky for the turtles, not so lucky for the crocodile. Number 2. Nails in a Cow A farmer was having some trouble with his cow. 
She was bloated, acting a little strange, and not eating properly. So the farmer eventually decided it was time to perform surgery to see what was bothering her. After opening the first stomach, the surgeon discovered a couple of pebbles. That wasn't totally out of the ordinary. It was when the second, smaller stomach was opened that a handful of larger pebbles were found along with a couple of nails. As it turned out, the cow had somehow accidentally swallowed nails and one of them got embedded into her stomach. Just imagine having a nail stabbing into your guts. It would be absolute agony. This explained why the cow had been so bloated and ornery. The nails were removed, the stomachs were put back in place, and the cow went on to make a very acceptable recovery. Number 1. Fish Thief A snorkeler in Australia made a rather bizarre discovery, not inside of a fish, but rather wrapped around one. Susan Pryor came across a fish with a gold ring stuck around its neck, like a fishy dog collar. She was snorkeling on Norfolk Island when she saw the mysterious little fish. Susan figures the fish probably got itself stuck inside the ring while searching for food on the floor of the ocean. The ring itself probably belonged to a man who had lost his wedding ring earlier in the year. The guy actually came forward after seeing the pictures of the fish wearing his very expensive wedding ring on Susan's social media. He said he had lost the piece of jewelry while swimming with his wife. But here's the issue. Trying to catch a particular fish is no easy job. Not to mention, everyone in the area now knows that there's a fish swimming around with a solid gold necklace. There's been no word yet if anyone has found the ring, but something tells me that the guy who lost it is down there every day trying to get his hands on it. After all, that's a lot of money to give away to a fish you hardly even know, don't you think? What's the weirdest thing your pet has ever accidentally eaten? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe for more awesome videos.